indigenous culture is the original source code, oh, right? Okay. So a lot of a lot of what we do in the DigiDAO now, you know, we've done the blockchain, we've engaged different communities, we've adopted, it's become almost like a philosophy and how do communities assess and adopt technology, right? So it's, it's been interesting because the DAO started off as that decentralized autonomous organization, but it really has become a philosophy around technology for us, you know? And wow. again, why I, why I think, I always say, I always joke about, oh yeah, this has to be the simulator, man. Like why else <laughs> would I have grown up in Hawaii and be adjacent or in blockchain now to help build this infrastructure where I truly believe an island and you know a culture can be the place where this flourishes. You know, right. it has to be in somewhere like Hawaii. Or, or on our panel, we had you know Edwin, who's Tongan, and he's doing all these amazing things in his in his tech hub, educating people all over Pacifica, right? And you know, like original kinship technologies, right? The stars to navigate, right, you know, like right, right. these things again, going back to knowledge base. If you have, if you frame it like that, an innovation, then blockchain isn't crazy. It just makes sense. Right. You know?